short weeks away, we get to see two of the big heavyweights going head to head as they get their preparations sorted for day one of the competition. Ireland are at home and we finally get to see what they're made of as they take on England. who have already got a couple of weeks preparation under their belt. What's going on everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Rugby World Cup build up matches where we get to see what these teams are made of just before we get to really see them in, a in action. England have undergone a bit of a, a turbulent week with the whole Owen Farrell red card situation from last weekend so they've undergone a number of changes whereas their opponents Ireland are yet to really show their full hand like they are today. This is nothing of a grudge match between the two, but this is a great opportunity to see where the two are at. Ireland are going into this and never made it past the quarterfinals of a Rugby World Cup, but this seems like it may be their year. Number one ranked side in the world, and they look prepped and ready to do the job. England, on the other hand, a few changes, six from last week, and they look like they may need a few miracles to make it to the very end of this competition. The Battle of the Packs looks like it should be amazing, but when you've got a side with Omani, Van Fly and Prendergast at 16 and 8, you're going to be a tough, tough battle to keep in line for Laws, Earl and Vuni Puller. This 19 combination, Youngs and Ford going up against Gibson Park and Byrne, will sure to be a decisive area of how this match goes. And look out for the wings as well. James Lowe and Matt Hansen have a bit of pace about them, going up against a very aged now Anthony Watson and the versatile Elliot Daly on the left could be an area where Ireland look to attack. Power through the midfield, defensive efforts will be definitely one to look out for. This is a match with many ways matches inside the match as well as we see what these two sides are made of going in to this Rugby World Cup. On the bench there's a lot of experience, Keith Earls, number 23, lining up for his 100th test cap tonight. So look out for him to make an impact later on as well as the big boys up front. Look out for Dan, Marler and Sigler who will be looking to impress for this English outfit as they make their way towards that game number one. It is a packed house of Irish fans here at Aviva Stadium looking to see where their team is at before they head off to France as in the Green Island get things underway. Ross Byrne with a very high kickoff down to the hands willfully waiting of Will Stewart. England of course in the white tonight. If you don't know what England playing, well then you better catch up because the World Cup is just days away now. 21 in fact as Ireland Advantage. looks to this back for the 22. And an error from Ross Byrne gives an early opportunity now to the English to strike for first points. Good current kick back there from Youngs. And things got a little bit complex there for Crouch. the Irish fly half. Find. As they look to escape their Set. way out of the 22. Youngs defeat the scrum. It's a solid enough one from England. A little bit of movement there back and forth. And now Ben Youngs double Advantage. cut out pass wide. And the ball spilled from Anthony Watson. It was a huge old pass. Cut through a couple of Advantage players. Advantage over. And Ireland this time. Don't make any crazy mistakes about it. They look up, plant the ball to the sideline, and get it out of their 22. Six minutes gone, we've got a little bit of excitement already. As Jamie George will throw it to this very full extended line out, stolen in the middle by Ireland. That's a big take there. James Ryan, the captain, climbing high in the night sky to pluck it out and lose this driving wall. Meter upon meter. Gained away, now kicked ahead from Gibson Park and clanged comfortably at the back there. And put down from Freddie Stewart. Not taking any risks there, puts it back into the 22. And George Ford will drop out this one nicely, finally again. Open areas to the park, Gibson Park into that midfield of danger of the ring rows. They get it out to Mac Hansen, who has the pace just about to get away from Daly. It's there for the pick and go, and it's not who you really expected to do it as well as Byrne is the one to start it off. It got a bit messy down that short side, but Naki is the one to take it into touch. Ireland looking to make those narrow channels count. 
Here's Jamie George again. This time hits his man nicely in the middle. And David Ribbons is the guy. Ben Youngs. Straight away off the back of that. Hacks it downfield. And three players up and competing for it. I think it's Ring Rose who's eventually got there for it ahead of Keenan. And once again, Ireland backpedaling all the way to their 22. Almost the first half of the first half over is once more Byrne looks for a big kick. That is a raking punt. Miles away from Watson, who has to travel a long way back to get it. He's kicked it over the head of Keenan, who hits it now on his 22. He's got a Hanson. Hanson running it back, looking hard for a way through. Big turn over there. Ellis Gens on the ball. And England have got a chance now. Right on the 22. Youngs goes to the right. Ribbons tries to burst his way through. It's Jose in support. Back for Youngs. Hands once more. Off low slicey. Stewart's up on the line. Beats one. Release. James Lowe takes him down. Now inside the 22. Youngs picked up. Driven backwards. Good defensive pressure there from Andrew Porter. His opposite number again for the number carry. Nice there. Laws. That's a pitcher perfect offload. Tolangi pops it back and failed to march it. They're just five short now, England. Gans back around the corner. Turns it inside to Funny Puller. Right under the sticks now. Titan working hard in defense. George back into Ribbons. He's not quite there. Pick and go from Young. White ball. Manu. Tolangi scores. England strike first. A huge amount of pressure on the Irish defensive line. And somehow they hold out for this long. But it was not quite enough. Ribbons went close. As did a number of English forwards. The Youngs drew him out. Sucked him in towards the uprights. They fired it out to a man who needs no introduction. To Alangi with the try. And George Ford, who's hardly been involved in the attacking threats for England, has a chance to add two more. Well, that's gone right over the top. Is that over, is it not? It's up for opinion. It's up for debate. And the ARs call that one slightly astray. 5-0 England lead. Well, Alice Gensch has been in the absolute thick of this match so far. Short one goes to Laws. And England straight away set their sights on going back to the danger zone. And they go on through Daly on the left wing now. He's got forward in support. Looks to get to him. But a good tackle there from Hugo Keenan. Drives him down on the 10 meter line. England with a lot of possession now to do something with. As Courtney Laws has to go. On the shoulder of him there is Ben Earl. Yes, that was Gens once more. And Jamie George, a fresh receiver. Up from fullback is Freddie Stewart. Now he needs to look to his right. Watson was waiting. But the ball was not delivered. Youngs is there. Ford waiting for the fringes as well. And Youngs knocks on. Such a golden chance to go up two tries. And it's dragged in eventually. No, no, not again. This time it's Youngs. Ben Youngs is off to the bin. England need to sort out the discipline. Off he goes. Courtney Laws can do nothing but look at the grass because this has been something that England had just not got in the game. It's reckless, it's foolish, and it's just a poor tackle. Second man as well. Coming over the top of Will Stewart and just plowed plowed and pounded hard into the head. Byrne will look to the sideline. Three and a half to play till half time. It's 5 0 England lead. Very, very tightly contested game, this one. Dan Sheehan to throw. I don't want to score before the break. Man advantage. They need to make sure they put that away. Middle of the pack they go. Captain Ryan is the man at the back. Not releasing. Fire. Things wrapped up. Thunder fire wrapped up. Penalty England. Referee very fast on calling that decision. And surely, no question about this, George Ford will line up a shot at three. Well, how quick was the English back row there on Josh van der Flyer. That is a great kick from Ford. It's eight points to nil as the buzzer rings. 
England go to the break with a comfortable lead. A try and a penalty in front. They would have liked much more, but this Irish team have been far, far from their best so far tonight. Eight points to nil is the scoreline, but Ireland have only fired a shot, which has to be of concern for the English as the second half will start to roll about. Still got the man in the boot, Ben Youngs, will still serve another probably six or so minutes, but it is an eight-point lead, which will be enough for the English at the break. Two scoring plays are needed now from Ireland. The way they've been playing, it's not been convincing at all. <laughs> nice short one, and it's grabbed nicely from Porter. The rough work from this back row has been a bit slow from Ireland. They want to clean that up as quickly as they can. Give some park. She and does nicely, gets on the outside. And away goes James Lowe. Tries to take off Stewart, can't get away from him. Some dangerous runners on the outside. Oh, that is a good tackle there on side burn. Gibson Park goes back to the short side. Looks to get Porter through a hole. Yeah, Gibson Park. Now he turns it back. Brittany Gas does well. And that's a good ball from Burn. Now they're up behind them. What have they got options by? So Marnie drops it up perfectly. Gets the throw along. Throw along. There's about four Englishmen hanging off the back of him. Gets inside the 22. Burn switches directions. High key for Hansen. And we've got a try for Ireland. They can strike at a moment's notice. Mac Hansen grabs a try. And England, whose defence was shattered by the barnstorming run of Peter Omani. And then some quick thinking from Brown out and towards Aki. And Bundy Aki, much of a playmaker as he is a bulldozer. Gives it wide for Mac Hansen to finish the job. Ireland back in the game, 5-8, here's the kick. Burn is just gonna sneak on the inside. Off the left as well, surprisingly. 5-8 the score, this one's far from done. Not a massive high scorer so far. As the contest goes, it's been tight, it's been a few errors. But it's been an intriguing matchup, that is for sure. George Ford, back to halfway he comes. Three points of difference, his penalty just before half time. There's a difference at the moment as Byrne knocks on. Great little offload there from Omar. Release. But he couldn't handle the hot potato. And now Young's back on the field. Kurangi out to that midfield of Martin. Gives it wide to Daly. Daly gets around the outside of Ring Rose. Beats him on the tackle. Here's a bar stolen from Miles. And eventually it breaks down for Ribbon. On the 22 now. Courtney Laws had support. Couldn't find it to Martian. They'll go again through Youngs. Looking to make up for the yellow card. Oh, Ireland though. Battling at numbers. That's what you get from Ireland. A big performance in the breakdown. Down the short side they go. Through Van Fly. Gibson Park. Cuts out a couple. Oh no, not again. This could be another. Billy Money Puller lucky. Lucky to not be going for that naughty chair. We've been young, spent 10 minutes, but this is an easy escape. And Byrne will drill this one into the English half. Can they deliver another blow? 5-8 the score. Dan Sheehan. Short five-man line out this one. Oh, it's Nick from Ribbons. That was a real contest in the air. England though with ball in hand. Ford Martin gets it out wide. Watson turns it back. Cut back to Torlangi. Vince Earl takes it down. Oh no! Oh, that is abusive at the best. And it's a yellow card for Ireland. High level of danger in that one. From Furlong. And does George Ford have the legs? Well, we are going to find out. This will put them up by six. Ten in the bin for Furlong as well. Ford strikes it. It's right front. It's fading. And it's faded away to the left. Late, late fade from the English fly half. It looked on target. But maybe that's one he should have left for. Likes of Elliot Daly. 
Loves a long thumper. Did it believe though from Ford? Just not quite the accuracy. Here's the 22 dropout. It's claimed nicely from Stewart who turns it back to Martin. And look out, England are starting to rumble. Turned over! Big play there from Sheehan. And now Omani, when he said, I want to go that way, he turned it back towards traffic. And luckily for him, the support player's good enough to hang on to it. 65 gone. Gives a park. He's big one. He's gone through the midfield. Ring Rose back inside Omani. No sword. It's the big number eight. Brendan Gass. Now it's James Ryan running to the line. James Ryan. James Ryan will score. The captain for Ireland. Popped him in the lead. What a performance by the Irish forwards to turn this game around. Dropped in perfectly for Prendergast and then out to Ryan and he just rumbled all the way home. Youngs couldn't catch him. That was an emphatic effort, absolutely emphatic from the big boys to show that dedication, to show that commitment. A man down as well. Unfortunately, Burns' kick is astray. It's 8-10. And we have rugby still to be played. Marvellous, marvellous stuff from Ryan and Ken Prendergast. They have put their team in the front. Can they hang on, though? 11 minutes remain. Another flyer. The numbers on these backs... Police. ...are not the greatest from Ireland. Let's be honest. As it is Prendergast who waits. Pops it back to Byrne. And they are going to give it to England here and say, you want to score? You want to win? You're going to have to beat us like this. And they do very quickly get it out to Daly. He's got Hanson. Oh, he's beaten Hanson. Oh, he's beaten Keenan. And Elliot Daly will stun Ireland. With just six and a half to play. Elliot Daly has twinkled toes his way home. And England retake the lead just when you thought Ireland might be safe look at this beat Hanson for pace around the outside and then with the support in tow Keenan had to commit and he made the wrong decision Elliot Daly what a solo piece of brilliance from the left winger the lead up to three the kick here from Ford will be crucial. And it is good. The league's five. And now Ireland need a converted try to take back the lead. They've got six minutes to do it. And they're getting their man back from the bin as well. How poor was that to lose one of your front row for a critical 10 minutes play. They scored. But England have grabbed a converted one back. So, deficit-wise, England lose. England gain just that little bit more. Ireland lose ground. And Ireland have lost the ball as well. Here's Ribbons. Nice little offload. Marsh just goes back inside. This is great into play. Sue and George doing very good work. Oh, Marty, though, on top of the game. Now is the chance for Ireland. Hansen goes back to Lucky. Thunder flies. says, I will hit it up. He does it so well, so often. Gibson Park, who sparked the last try for the Irish, tries to do it again. Arkey at scrum half, there's a big hole, and Arkey so Time is up! Arkey to the 22, Ireland on the attack. They need a convert a try. They get it through Prindigas. He bumps his way Police. through a couple. Ireland now deep in the 22. Looking short side, turning it back. Arkey, nice ball to Porter. Porter to Furlong! Furlong 10! Ireland tied up and tied Furlong. The hero for Ireland. Two tries in the last 10 minutes. One apiece. But this game will come down to the tee of Ross Byrne. How about these offloads from Ireland? That's what makes them so dangerous. Ross Byrne though, probably thinking, why don't you turn in towards the uprights, not away from them. At worst for Ireland, this will be a draw. At best, it'll be a win.
Blackburn strikes set to the left. He's missed. It curls round the outside of the left hand upright. And Ireland will force England to a draw. And neither team will be happy with this outcome. What a finish. What an absolute class game between Ireland and England. Three tries to two. Furlong, Ryan and Hansen. Not one of them converted by Ross Byrne. Daly and Toragi with tries for England. Ford, a conversion and a penalty goal. That was the difference for England. To stay in it was the goal kicking. What a performance by these two sides. It swung, it swayed, it dipped and it dived. It was up and down all over the place. Yellow cards each, penalties, high tackle count, and just some amazing rugby as well. It ends at 15-15. And as far as warm-up games for the Rugby World Cup goes, that one told us a lot. Ireland sure to be feared, but England, they need to sort out their discipline. That is one for sure. An entertaining game. That sees these two sides unable to be broken apart and will end up in a tie. And that is maybe, some will say, the fairest way. What are your thoughts on this match? Who deserved to win? And of course, who will win when they meet at this time as well? Let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. But until next time, big thanks for coming by, hanging out, and playing some rugby. I'll see you all next time on stream, on video, wherever we may be. Until then, though, take care.